Thank you. So the first time that I met our Premier at the Saskatchewan Pavilion during the Olympics, he came up to me and simply introduced himself as Brad. When he, even when he phoned me a few weeks ago asking if I would introduce him at tonight's dinner, the first words that came out of his mouth were, Hey Lucas, it's Brad. Not too many people think they can say they're on a first name basis with the Premier of their province, but with a guy like Brad, that's just what you get. My experience at the Olympics was truly something else. To be honest, I've never experienced anything like it. The fans, the support, the energy, and the emotion. It all came together to, pr to produce this unforgettable memory that I'm still trying to piece together today. In my thank you speech on behalf of the 2010 Olympic athletes at the Saskatchewan Legislature, I spoke briefly about what it's like to be a Canadian athlete. I said, when you compete for Canada on the world stage, you don't only possess the skills to be among the best in the world, but you also hold a great deal of respect among the other nations. We play fair, we're humble, and we're truly passionate about what we do. It's a responsibility that every Canadian athlete lives to, and it's the reason why wearing the maple leaf is that much more celebrated. Here, I'll take it one step further to say that competing at this level and being from Saskatchewan should be supported and celebrated in the same respect. We may not have the numbers like other provinces do, and consequently the top-notch facilities to go with them. What we do have, however, is talent. Out of the 15 Saskatchewan-born athletes that competed at the Vancouver Olympics, 11 of us brought back medals. <laughs> to add to that, Saskatchewan's Colette Bourgogne also brought home two medals from the Vancouver Paralympic Games. <clears throat> These results are something we should all be very proud of. When Brad had all the Saskatchewan-born Olympic and Paralympic athletes in his office for the recognition event at the Ledge, I found out that he was quite the football fan. He's got an array of helmets sitting beside, behind his desk, and it just so happens that the rider's helmet he's got on display belongs to one of the rider greats, my second cousin, Gene Mikoski. Well, after the Olympics, when I saw Brad again, he told me how loud and proud he and his family were cheering during the Team Pursuit event, which got me thinking. Maybe Brad needs to start a collection of speed skates in his office. Or better yet, maybe we can all convince Brad to put on a skin suit and take a few laps around the outdoor oval at Mount Pleasant Park in the middle of January. What do we all say to that? Do you think we convince him? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please help me in welcoming Saskatchewan's Premier to the podium, the Honourable Brad Wall. Thank you. Thanks, Lucas.